Hello everyone and welcome to Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. You know, this month our host sponsor returns for a second viewing, simply because this restaurant right behind me is right along the beautiful Cannery Row and it celebrates its 45th birthday this month, this year, 2013. Here's a first sample of the Sardine Factory. Like great wine, the Sardine Factory gets better with age. Monterey's premier restaurant is celebrating 45 years. 45 years for the Sardine Factory. Can you tell me why you think it's been so successful? In one word, love. We have it posted in the kitchen. You know, we try to instill in everybody that works here at the Sardine Factory, the most important thing is love. We have a saying at the Sardine Factory, if we made you feel at home, we made a million dollar mistake. You might as well stay at home. Our job is to make you feel better than home. And as long as we live up to that, we try that and try it and keep working on it, that's why we survived for 45 years. And the best wine list in America by Restaurant Hospitality Magazine. More than 1,800 labels. How many bottles? Oh, we have, we have over 35, 40,000 bottles of wine. And counting. And counting. We did that years ago. My partner and myself, we started collecting wines. The bottles stored in an underground wine cellar, a favorite of world leaders, celebrities, and sports heroes. And the freshest sustainable seafood and USDA prime and aged beef. Very simply, buy the best, serve the best. I think we've been a regional restaurant before regional was in vogue. Do you have a favorite dish yourself? Being with my Sicilian heritage, I like a pasta and seafood dish. A nice variety of different seafoods. Come to the Sardine Factory, a must in Monterey. 701 Wave Street, Monterey, a Cannery Row classic for 45 years. Much more from the Sardine Factory to come. But before we really indulge, we want to thank our previous host, Chef Andre, Lugano Swiss Bistro Restaurant in Carmel, and his ever-growing Bavarian tradition, now in Monterey. Welcome to Oktoberfest, Monterey Bay. Food, fun, frolicking, and beer. Yes, Monterey Bay Oktoberfest returned to the Monterey Peninsula in September, but this year in a new location, the Monterey County Fair and Event Center, since it's now outgrown the barnyard. <laughs> Mr. Oktoberfest, Chef Andre, known year-round for his fabulous fondue, etc., at Lugana Swiss Bistro in the barnyard, has really hit the Bavarian jackpot. Well, Chef Andre, here we are at a new venue for Oktoberfest. Tell me about this new venue for you. Oh, being Sunday and being the second day, it's just yesterday I was just crowd of me, people. Everybody had a blood host in their one hand and a beer in the other hand. And I'm very happy that we made the decision to come to the fairground. Yours truly was honored to help celebrate this German extravaganza, complete with Miss Oktoberfest and marvelous music from the Flying Dutchman and the famous Internationals. Pretzels, bratwurst, turkey legs, and of course, beer. A European tradition that seems to be styling here in Monterey, no matter where you're from. So Germans, of course, would love Oktoberfest, yeah. but do non-Germans like it too, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, just go in the tent and see what the people are like. <laughs> I've never been to one before, just good beer, good times. I live in the area for a couple of years now, so I had to come check it out. And uh, yeah, I came for the beer. Okay, I see you got beer, but no pretzels, no turkey leg, no nothing. I'm getting a turkey leg right now. <laughs> I've been excited for this turkey leg, like all morning. It's fun, it's so much fun, I, I love it. For the first time, Oktoberfest was feted with a parade. And no question, this fest is well worth yodeling about. <laughs> Meantime, business has been very good for the presenting sponsor of Monterey Bay and Beyond with yours truly, Sam Linder Jaguar Land Rover. 
In the spring, we went Land Rover experiencing at Coya Lodge in beautiful Carmel Valley. Then in mid-June, Sam Linder Jaguar Land Rover Volvo opened the doors of its new and improved showroom in Seaside with a grand reopening. Some 400 guests and car lovers enjoyed fine food, drink, and entertainment, as well as the unveiling of a new sexy star. For the first time in 50 years, Jaguar has produced a true sports car, and it's a beauty, the F-Type. Not since the E-Type has Jaguar featured such a fabulous two-seat convertible ready to make a run for the road. Well, Jaguar originally was a sports car. That's where they started, and we are just excited to have a new sports car back in the lineup. And uh, we know that here at Sandlender Jaguar, we're gonna sell a lot of those cars. Whether it's the F-Type or the F-Type S, sparked by the V6 supercharged engine and running 340 to 380 horses, this sleek cat purrs efficiently at 28 miles per gallon. Or if you like equine power of almost 500 HP, why the F-Type V8S has your signature. I'd say it was amazing. Jaguar's first two-seat sport car in 50 years, uh, all aluminum construction, quick shift transmission, it's going to be a new beginning for Jaguar, no question about it. This is uh, going to bring a new customer back to our brand from where we were before. And our sedans have really carried that torch for the last couple of years, but nothing like a true sports car to bring Jaguar back to its uh, heritage. It's the first time you've seen the F-Type? Love it. I've been following it. I love it. Listen to this motor. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I think I'm going to buy one. I'm trying to talk my father-in-law into one first. Maybe I'll inherit it, but no. I love it. It's a great car. As one auto journalist penned, it's now available in three varieties. Nice, nicer, and insane. Tell me your thoughts on the car. Do you like it? I love it. This is so awesome. I would love to own one of those. Feels really good, comfortable. The new 2014 Jaguar F-Type. Typecast for the fabulous feline in you. The F-Type convertible is waiting for you at Sam Linder Jaguar in Seaside, California. And congrats to Sam Linder, who recently was roasted for his community contributions by his friends in Salinas in early October. Cannery Row in its heyday earned its fame from a small fish called a sardine. Well, it would only be apropos that in the modern day, back then, the late 1960s, that the Cannery Row Company would take the next step using the famous sardine. Ah, the sweet smell of success. 45 years old now and getting better with age, here's the Sardine Factory. And in 1968, the Sardine Factory restaurant was founded by Ted Balistreri and Bert Catino. And this month, this very famous eatery, celebrating 45 remarkable years, is our host sponsor of Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. Well, Ted Ballesteri, it is great to see you as always. How you doing? Good to see you, Hunter. Yeah, this beautiful room in here. I know it's daylight as we're talking to you, but uh, it is an evening restaurant, the Sardine Factory, but beautiful, beautiful room. The movie, The Great Gatsby. Right. I mean, this depicts it. This is that lifestyle, that era, when you just feel good about everything. This is just one of five different dining rooms we have here at the Sardine Factory. Each one, different atmosphere. The menu's the same in all the rooms, except maybe the wine cellar downstairs in the bar, but it's a, it's a treat to have people come in here. Can you tell me why you think it's been so successful? Well, the number one, one word, love. We have it posted in the kitchen. You know, we try to instill in everybody that works here at the Sardine Pack, the most important thing is love. If we made you feel at home, we made a million dollar mistake. Our job is to make you feel better than home. That's why we survived for 45 years. Love, we love what we do and we love the customer. What is it, I, I read on your website, 1,800 labels, but, but how many bottles oh, of we wine? Have, we have over 35, 40,000 bottles of wine. And counting. And counting, we did that years ago. My partner and myself, we started collecting wines. We had great sommeliers that worked for us over the years. It was kind of like a hobby at the beginning and it became we became known for our wine cellar and some of the great dinners. And our wine cellar downstairs, just about every famous movie actor, politician, always wants to have that for their kickoff dinner or special occasion. You know, we do something 
at the Siding Factory. Maybe no other restaurant in the world does. We match the music, food, and wine. We used to start off like in the wine cellar with Vivaldi. Make everybody happier. And as the sauces got heavier, we went to Beethoven, Bach, and a real heavy sauce, we play Wagner. And people would love it. So we matched the food. We mentioned what food, music, and wine, all in concert. It's a complete experience in one of the most beautiful atmospheres. That's what we do in the wine cellar. All the other rooms, we have different ways, different atmospheres. This is the room, maybe the, the great Gatsby type of room. Mm -hmm. The other one is the turn of the century, the captain's room. The bar is kind of a fun, light menu and very clubby. So any, we, anything you like, we have it here at the Siding Factory for you. A bit later, we will hear from Ted Balistrieri's partner and co-owner of the Sardine Factory, Chef uh, Bert Catino. Meanwhile, elsewhere, the city of Monterey, as many of you might know, is chock full of great restaurants. Here are a couple of examples. Monterey Peninsulan, Clint Eastwood, thought it was good enough for his 1972 movie, Play Misty For Me. And four decades later, the Sandbar and Grill is still the famous restaurant of choice for locals and tourists. Don't you just love the Sandbar? What a great place to meet with friends. The food is so delicious and the atmosphere, you just can't beat it. You're right, Mary and Carol, we could be out sailing. The view from wharf number two in Monterey is nothing short of ship to shore. And inside this ship, if you will, is spectacular seafood and more, and a bar that's worth every sip. Sandbar is a fun place, especially at happy hour. We have discounted food, specialty drinks. I tell you, if you come once, you'll definitely be back. Oh, and did I mention that the proprietor's pretty cool too? Craig Lang golfs, watches all sports, and wants you to love his restaurant too. Open for lunch and dinner every day, plus Sunday brunch. Picture yourself at the Sandbar and Grill. Today's the 20th anniversary party. You got a lot of people, a lot of food, a lot of fun. How exciting is it? It's fantastic. We have a great turnout. Um, it's wonderful to give back to the community a little party after being open 20 years and just the community has really supported us a heck of a lot. It's so fun. Yeah, happy anniversary. We like awesome. it. Today you have garden tours happening. How exciting is that? You guys are showcasing your gardens? Yeah, we are. Um, very fortunate to have a kitchen garden right off to the, the back of our kitchen uh, that has herbs, edible flowers, some vegetables, and oh, we have some fruit trees growing as well. Uh, Tarpies is set on five acres. It's a 100-year-old historic building, and it's uh, we have seven different dining rooms. And just the place itself, it lends itself to just comfort and just a good meal. Staff too, our staff is extremely professional, courteous, and we'll go out of the way to make your dining experience wonderful. Returning now to the famous Sardine Factory restaurant, which really manufactures a marvelous experience. And that experience begins with fabulous food, brought to you by the chief chef and co-founder of the Sardine Factory restaurant, Bert Catino, and his staff. The Sardine Factory sits just up above the main drag on Cannery Row. Tourists and locals alike love to come here for dinner and taste delectable food prepared by Chief Chef Bert Catino and staff. Here with Bert Catino and Bert, uh, you know, I've known you a long time, but I don't know that we've ever sat down and eaten together. I'm excited about this here at the Sardine Factory. What are we, what are we gonna start yeah, with? Yeah, well, I gotta tell you something. We're gonna have a, a nice trio dish to start with because I think appetizers are really great to stimulate your appetite even more. And we have <laughs> Chef Kent here of the Sardine Factory. Hey, Kent, how are you, oh, Chef? There you, how you go, doing? Chef. You, Good to see you, thank you. Thank, thank you, Bert. Chef, okay. Oh, yeah. It looks good. Great trio for you. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, tell me what we have. It is called the trio. It's really called the Steinbeck. Okay. So what we have here is a stuffed mushroom. And in that mushroom, we have a mix of a jumbo crab with a light beurre blanc sauce with a little tomato oil. And then we have the center is a scallop. Now that's in a Thai sauce. Okay. with a little curry, a little Thai curry. And then over here, to complete that, we have a lobster ravioli. Mm. 
So, you know, you got to bring that. You don't need to say much there. more than that, my friend. It's pretty dang good. Pretty good. Good. <laughs> good. good. I just thought I'd say, uh, I didn't want to speak with my mouth full, but you have to here at the Sardine Factory because, oh my gosh. Very tasty. Uh, the chef's coming out and bringing our famous abalone bis. Oh my gosh. That uh, was created here. And it's a soup that we have served for 45 years. Uh, we ended up experimenting to make an abalone soup that ended up being an abalone bisque in the style of the French tradition. In making this soup, it's a unique recipe. We don't give this recipe out, by the way. I didn't think so. And uh, it's uh, the abalone is, is very sweet, the abalone milk. Oh and gosh. to get that flavor, uh, you have to cook these abalone down to get that flavor. And we use the trim meat to make it happen. And then we add just a little bacon to it to accentuate it. And mm -hmm. so the sweetness that. all comes together and accentuates the whole dish. Well, thank you for course number two. Our pleasure. <laughs> Ted talks about the word love. He said, if you love and, and, sh and show that it exudes right, through the restaurant, right. the way you treat your staff, the way you treat your customers here. Correct. I always say this, you know, being a guest speaker at graduations for culinary schools, they gotta have the passion and the love for it. And that's what this is about. I mean, you have to love what you do. I love what I do. And I hope that really projects to other individuals that work in our restaurant to have that same feeling of caring and loving. When that customer walks through the door, they are the king and queens. It may seem like old hat, but the rule of thumb in business is the customer always comes first. And nowhere is that more standard than right here at the Sardine Factory. Why should they come here versus any other restaurant? Because it's truly, it's a true Monterey restaurant that evolved. Uh, this is Monterey, the food, the employee, the atmosphere. It's a part of uh, Americana history of of Cannery Row, of Monterey. If you only have to have one dinner and you're gonna be on the Monterey Peninsula, the Siding Factory would be the place to go. Not only for the wonderful quality of food and wine and service, but also for the atmosphere. Through these doors, history's been made over time and time again. Clint Eastwood made his, directed his first movie here, Play Misty for me. And then go on and on between great uh, movie stars as well as uh, politicians, sports, but most of all, the person who had a special occasion and might live down the corner that we made feel very special that night. They're even more important to us. They come because it's a successful restaurant. They want to see what it's about. And uh, my partner spends a lot of time completely dedicated to making sure, you know, from the farm to the table, what's fresh, what's good, from the ocean to the table. You know, keep it the freshest, the best, and quality. And we have to change, we had to evolve. You know, we're not quite as formal as we were years ago. Mm -hmm. Years ago, you couldn't come in the restaurant without a shirt and a tie. You know, and sometimes I miss that, I really do. The formality. But the casualization of America, people want to be a little more comfortable in California. So we adapted. Mm -hmm. But never, ever do we adapt by dropping quality of food or service. You get almost go either way, dress up or dress down and come to the siding factory and feel comfortable. But things have changed, but never, ever with quality of food or service. You and Bert Catino, uh, are you different? Are you the same? What makes you guys sort of a dynamic duo? Well, we're different. Bert has, we, we're different and the same in certain things. We have the same goal to make the siding factory the finest restaurant we humanly can. It's a part of who we are. Even though it's not a major part of our companies, it's who we are and how we became and who we became. We evolved throughout the restaurant business. It's the hospitality industry, and we kind of reflect that in everything we do, service, uh, even in the real estate and everything else. We just have that sort of, a certain humility in which you have to have to be in this business, and which is, it's good for you. It's good to wait on other people mm -hmm. and try to make them feel good about themselves. So both of us have that one particular goal. Mine was more in the front of the house and the business side, and Bert was mostly with the creativity of the food and trying to make that menu as exciting as possible. And we both worked as a very good team. Teamwork is what makes any successful business go. And we saw proof of that during our July TV program when we profiled the entire Cannery Row company. But before most of the commercial Cannery Row as we know it today was built, there was 
the sardine factory. So here we have uh, the salmon, and we serve the salmon with the skin on. Fresh Dungeness crab, and we have a little of that, and then I have to add the artichoke to this because... Oh, you have artichoke in there too? I have an artichoke ring in there. Of course, you know, asparagus. Oh. And then you have that, that hollandaise sauce uh, on top of all this. Yeah. So, and the hollandaise sauce marries this all together very well. This is one of the big sellers in the restaurant because everybody likes salmon and salmon, the omega-3, omega-6, very healthy for you. Mm -hmm. You should eat salmon at least once a week. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what sardines are all about too. Right. Eating right. sardines is one of the best things. You get everything out of a sardine. Mm -hmm. And we have a smoked sardine that we do. And if we get fresh sardines at times, uh, we could serve them as well. But that's far and in between, because I won't serve frozen. I don't know how it can get any better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of our special desserts. Chef Kent's going to bring us uh, a little trio here that so we serve. Dessert is not a dirty word. Not a dirty Thank word. You. Not a Chef. dirty word. Yeah. And uh, this is we all we all make this here, of course. Okay. And uh, we have here to the right our famous spumoni. And this is quite a tutti frutti style, you know, with the fruit in it, right. dried right. fruit, which is very traditional Sicilian. And then we have the famous tiramisu. And this is our own recipe here. It has a little drambouille in it, a little clue in it. And of course, it's made with the famous mascarpone cheese. Oh. This little item here right. is a traditional ganoli made with a fresh shell. And uh, here you served with uh, usually with nuts or you could use pistachios. And of course, that's made with the famous rigotta. Mm -hmm. And rigotta, of course, another Sicilian thing. So when you did the American Express commercial, how long ago is that now? 20 years ago? Oh yeah, or so? that was good. They picked, uh, American Express was getting beat up, I guess, by Visa or MasterCard, right, I forget which right. one, and they had to do something new. So I was the first one they test marketed with, you do you know me. The Sardine Factory is one of the oldest restaurants on Canterbury Road. It was a condemned old building on the wrong side of the tracks. I pretty much worked the front of the house and my partner worked the back of the house. We didn't have any money, but we had a real thirst for this business. And they spent about five or six millions on a, a million on the commercial doing it. And they spent about 35 million going worldwide. And the business went like this. Not only for us, but for American Express. So I was very fortunate that they picked of all the restaurateurs in America to be the first one to try it with. It uh, didn't put you on the map, but it certainly helped oh, keep sure, you on the sure map. Oh, sure launched us. <laughs> sure launched us. It was a wonderful experience. That's a great company, too. Teamwork, hard work, and the dynamic duel of Ted Ballesteri and Bert Catino really have made the Sardine Factory the leader of elite restaurants since 1968. And as Mr. Ballesteri told us right here in this room about the incredible number of wines they have here at the Sardine Factory, it makes one imagine all the possibilities down the road and up in the air. A lot of things. Everything aviation. We have airplanes, helicopters, and we will fly. We're a charter company, so we take people out of San Jose or San Francisco and bring them to Monterey or even down to Santa Barbara. We do aerial filming, so we do things like this, and we shoot for movies. We also have airplanes where people learn how to fly. Specialized Helicopters is your answer to aviation. Our company takes you up, up, and away. And if choppers are your fancy, why specialized helicopters offer the Robinson R44 four-seater and the luxurious Bell Jet Ranger for five. Their safety record is unbelievable. It's unmatched. It's the safest single engine aircraft ever built right here. Um, and fits people. It's got an awesome view. We've got the bubble windows and so it just really, and we play some music in the background <laughs> uh, if they want it. They can choose <laughs> jazz or whatever. It's, you know, XM radio. Uh, and so it has that, it's just got that perfect viewing platform. And Specialized Helicopters specializes in you. That's why people um, take a ride in the helicopters, to see everything and then when they want to pinpoint where they want to go maybe after that. Because you do get this different overhead view, this God view of the area. And the area our whirlybirds are specializing in these days is Carmel Valley, starting at its unique vintage airport. 
and it's just a fantastic airport and we love it and it also fits really well with all the wineries that are up here nowadays this is the mini napa you know the new napa maybe uh, there's some absolutely fantastic wineries and, and wine tasting rooms here and it really fits the crowd with the helicopter experience the adventure uh, coming out to do a wine tasting and also take a helicopter ride uh, a lot of the people in the Monterey and Central Coast are coming here. We get a lot of folks from San Francisco, San Jose. What do you think of the bird's eye view? Uh, amazing, gorgeous, beautiful. Um, I've been on a helicopter before, but this area is truly just beautiful. So come fly with us. Let specialized helicopters do the work, if you can call it that. I don't really work. I don't call it working. I mean, sometimes I have to get on the phone and work a little bit, but it doesn't. It still doesn't seem like work because I'm always transferring fun. I'm just moving fun from one person to the next. If you wish to fly like an eagle over beautiful Carmel Valley, contact Specialized Helicopters. And wineries and wine tasting rooms, if you want to join the party and promote yourself, why contact us here at Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. Email me, hunter at hunterfennellmedia.com or call 831-236-6781. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my friends Ted Ballesteri and Bert Catino for featuring their sardine factory on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. How can you see our television program, Monterey Bay and Beyond, with yours truly? Why, it's easy. It airs on Comcast Video On Demand anytime, day or night, every day of the year. Just click on Searchlight on your remote control, then click on Menu, and under the headings Shopping, Entertainment, or Travel and Leisure, why, you'll find Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. Our show airs locally on TV in Monterey and Santa Cruz counties now four times every day. 1 p.m., 5.30 on Channel 17, and at 8 p.m. and 9.30 on Channel 2. And additional airings of our program on weekends. And if you want to jump on to the show to promote your business, nonprofit, or event, contact me at hunter at hunterfinellmedia.com or call me, 831-236-6781. Hi, I'm Detlef Bittner from Bittner, The Pleasure of Writing. And I love Monterey Bay and beyond with Hunter Fennell.